was an intricately done, you know, by a master smith. <laughs> All right, Ogthar. They hand you a thick, like a, a small vial of like this thick-looking liquid. Take Once it. we begin. All right, so you you drink it. And you can well, feel I have, like this. Well, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna say my words first, and then. All right. Okay. So swear your oath. I am ready to enter the undying. My blood will guide my path. From the pits of the nine hells to the fiends that torment the souls, to the undead that mock this life. My blood is their bane, and the darkness will know light. And then I drink it. Okay, so you drink this thick sludge-like potion, and immediately you feel like your, your body starts to go feel heavy, and your consciousness seems to drift from your form. And you can almost see like see yourself floating above your body. I have Bubby. Yeah, my dog's being a dork. Yeah. Silly pub. Huh? All right. So as you guys, uh, as you, um, the witch hunter, blood hunter starts, and he, and he slowly drags a blade from your wrists back of your ankles and then finally he uh does a small yeah. cut from ear from throat across your throat and there's an alarmingly amount of a lot of blood starting pouring out of ogthar's body now and each pump of his heart you can see you see another like burst of blood pump from these things and uh malgrims comes up and he puts his hands above over Ogdar, ogthar's bald head and you can start to see a glow appear and the blood flow starts to stem and just a small trickle starts to flow out. Uh, it looks at you as you guys are like, uh, hey, don't get squeamish on me now. We're just beginning this. It's not a new squeamishness. <laughs> and the blood starts to, is it starts to pump from his veins. And you start seeing that there's, there's runnels and funnels running through along the table where it collects. As it starts to collect, it starts to congeal into a thick, black, dark red paste which is alarmingly quick quick for, you know, this much blood congealing this quickly. And you see the uh, the witch hunter starts taking this, this paste and starts spreading it over the armor. And the armor starts to glow with this arcane, arcane blood right seems to infuse it with its, with energy. And Ogthar, at this yeah. moment, you start seeing um, visions flit across your vision of ghosts of, you know, of the people you've murdered, your clan, also, you start seeing the the, um, the visages of the monsters you've killed since you've joined this little band of adventurers. Excuse me. And each one, as they like pass through your body, it's, it's a physical shock to your system. Is this cold? This, this cold um, sensation runs through your body, and they continuously they they start forming a stream as they kind of just like foof, foof, foof pushing through your body and each time they push through the sensation grows more intense and intense and but you feel your mind starting to fill up with bits and pieces of information from long long ago and it is, is uh the witch hunter finishes covering the armor in this blood and in, in this paste you can see that it's all the blood that was caked onto it is slowly absorbed into the armor and each rune is now stand is stand stands against the uh the gold plating or was, was it gold dust? It's a uh, black plating with gold trim. So it is now a dark crimson red, standing against the black of the metal. And each of these runes, and there is no like everything he smeared across this armor, um, is all been absorbed into these runes. And he turns to Janora and Rhea. Come, come here. And he holds your hands above the um above Ogthar's body, and he slits your hands across the meat of the palm. Which one? Is that the one with the runes? The other one. The other one. Oh. Just, just a quick cut. Hold it over his body. And as you, as you... Each of you start... You can hold the blood, and the blood starts to pool across his open chest, and running down his, you know, his stomach and his arms. And he hands the... He starts carving the first rune into his upper shoulder 
And it's, it's precise, you know, it's a quick, daft hand doing this. Then he passes the blade to Rhea. I'll show you exactly what you need to draw. Don't worry about how deep you need to go. So I will do exactly what he says. He draws a quick. He draws a uh, small sketch in, in the, into the blood that streaked his Alexar's chest, <laughs> and you you you, uh, you bring the blade down. And you start to cut through the skin, and surprisingly, there is no resistance. You know, you expect it. And it kind of the blade cuts cleanly through, and Alexar, as, as you can you can see through like you know a, a haze of whatever this concoction they've given you. You can start seeing um, Rhea, and behind her, there's a flash of images. And each one, they start doing the same thing that happened to you with your with your own ghosts. They start pushing through your body, forming more and more of a connection to the spirit realm that which you've, you've sworn to destroy and to protect the world from. And you start feeling more and more connection through this as she starts carving these runes slowly into your body. And Witch Hunter takes the blade from you, passes it to Nora. Same thing. Just takes the blade. You better not be killing him. You better not be killing him. And she'll let him guide her. Same thing that happened with Rhea. As you see, you turn. Is your head? Your kind of head kind of lolls to the side, and you can see that Rhea's, you know, Janora's. There's another a flash image of her ghosts. Her dark past starts flowing through you. And at this last ghost, and it flashes through you, and it's the hideous face of Delisle. And it stops, and it kind of it stops right in front of your face, and you just you can feel almost this his hot breath breathe across you. And there's a moment of fear sparking through his eyes as he di- he dissolves and pushes through your body as well. Um. So, as is the his now Ogthar's body is covered from head to toe. And these script and cryptic runes, all each one interlocked and twining, like each one has its own like circle of power that is now connected to one another. And all that blood that you had spilled across his chest slowly starts to like seep into these wounds and start to create almost like the same thing with the um, with the armor, forming hard crusts where these blade where the um, where the runes were carved, forming a pseudo scab almost and the and the power starts to sink in leaving like the, the the wounds flesh with his body the ritual is done with this hopefully he wakes hopefully he wakes um What's... you make him wake you fix him you broke him you fix him that's up to him the demons he is now facing are his own making and yours. Wait, what? 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 My demons? No, no one needs to face my... Yeah, my what? demons are my own. You are family. <laughs> Thus your demons are... You share your burdens. <sighs> the basis of this ritual. <sighs> so what happens next? <laughs> Charles, the grin on your face is just amazing. I had a lot of time to plan this. Oh, you cool did fantastic, my friend. You did such a great Aww. job. So as as you all kind of start, you know, there's a small bickerman argument in there, and you can see more room. Just shut up. Kind of hard to concentrate keeping this large man. Ah, he seems flustered, and that you know is there's sweat coursing his face. You know, he seems tired from doing this. You can as you can. Now, looking back, you all feel this drain on your body. And you can feel like it's been a long time you've been doing this. And you just kind of pass through them, you know, the uh, the quick precision cuts that's been needed to be doing this. Sorry, dog's got to do toy and girlfriend's laughing. Um, uh, you can, Ogthar, you can start feeling like you can start seeing, like, all the things that have, like, pressed into your body and your mind start forming a... a an image of almost like a shimmering like mirror of yourself. And in between that mirror, you see the, the man you used to be. And you know, 
to complete this trial, you must turn your back on this and embrace fully what it is to be a blood hunter. I do that. I say I am, I am ready. You are no more to him. And I turn around. As you turn around, you feel a snapping within yourself. And your eyes automatically flash open. And there's this burst of power that knocks everyone back. And the wounds that, that, that the wounds that they inflicted on you, they heal up on their own. You can now you have, so if you're a market to your character, you now have long scars running across your wrists, a thin scar running across your throat, and then ones in the back of your thigh, the back of your like the the veins across your legs. Where they bled me, gotcha. Where they bled you. The wounds of all oh, the wounds all over your body are still open, but they're in a process of healing. Okay. It is done. 